goodbye to OBS Studio, and for the love of anime waifus, please uninstall slobs from your desktop because what I'm about to show you is going to change everything you know about live streaming. And I'm super excited to show you this because this program has officially become my new favorite way to stream as a VTuber. It's called Prism Live Studio. Prism Live Studio is a live broadcasting application for both Windows PC and mobile, and they're also today's sponsor. Now, I know a lot of you probably either use OBS Studio, Slobs, or maybe XSplit, if anyone still uses that. And like, that's cool and all, but how many of you are smooth brain like me and setting up these programs has been a real pain in the ass? Like, think about it. If you use OBS Studio, then you probably wanted to make your stream look more professional at some point, right? So you probably have spent a lot of time scouring the internet looking for the right plugin. Like, little bro, who's trying to sit here sifting through a bunch of plugins while watching 20 different YouTube tutorials only to find out the plugin you installed is either outdated or broken? Or how many of you tried using slobs only to have it eat up Ooh. your entire CPU and cause your stream to lag? Like literally, as I'm editing this video right now, I'm trying to install Streamlabs OBS and it is giving me so many issues just trying to import everything from my OBS. So now I have to start everything from scratch. That's great. I'm sorry, I don't have thousands of dollars to spend on a streaming computer just so slobs can properly run super auto pets without lagging my entire stream. Like. All I've ever wanted was a streaming application that has all the cool little widget features that Slobs has and runs just as efficiently like OBS Studio. And it doesn't require too much brain power to set up. And finally, after all this time, my prayers have been answered because Prism Live Studio can do that and so much more. Honestly, I'm a little mad I didn't discover this application sooner because I've wasted so much time setting up pointless stuff for streaming when literally it only took a few minutes to do the exact same thing in Prism. And the biggest reason why I'm so excited about this is because you know how I mentioned this has become my new favorite way to stream as a VTuber? Well, that's because Prism Live Studio has a dedicated VTubing plugin. Yes, that's right, you heard me. It has a dedicated VTuber tab on its mobile app that you can use for PNG tubing. So, if you don't have a computer and you really want to become a VTuber, then you can just download the app on your phone and use the VTuber tab to add your own PNG model and start streaming right away. And that's not all the cool features this application has. Here, let me show you what else it can do. This was all done in the Prism Live Studio application. I did not need to install any third-party plugins and it was incredibly easy to set up. All I had to do was this. Go to prismlive.com, make sure you're on the PC tab, stare at the center of your screen until you notice a big yellow button that says download now. Click the download now button. Wait for the program to download. Click on that. Follow the steps to install said program and then click done. Once it's installed, you just need to select what accounts you want to stream with and follow each step connecting all of your accounts. Like, look at these options! What the heck is Navi and Whale Space? And yes, don't worry, kick users, you can still connect your stream by using your stream key like usual. When you have the application loaded up, you'll notice it's, uh, pretty similar to something you may have seen before. But don't worry about that. Click the gear icon to go to the settings and make sure you uncheck the watermark in your settings unless you want the Prism logo to appear while you're curb stomping on some 12 year old in COD or something, baka. Then go through all of your settings just like you did when you first installed Slobs or OBS. And of course, if you know all these settings, then you can go into the advanced tab and configure all that stuff like you normally would, blah, 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 blah. By the way, in case if anyone is wondering while watching this video, Prism Live Studio does have a replay buffer, default audio inputs, hotkeys, and all that other stuff you're probably worried about. But there's a couple of things I want to point out that makes this streaming application different from everything else when it comes to your actual settings. You know how you normally would set up your stream by adjusting the bitrate and FPS and stuff, right? Oh, that's cool and all, but you see that little icon here? Well, if you click on it, it'll pop up a bunch of different settings you can configure for different websites you want to live stream on. And what makes this even more interesting is that these settings will apply when you're multi-streaming. Yes, that's right. Prism Live Studio is a free multi-streaming application. There's no subscriptions or payment plans to stream on multiple platforms like some other services. So let's say you want to stream in a higher bitrate on YouTube, but a lower bitrate on Twitch or Kick then you can, all at the same time. One of the biggest advantages of using Prism Live Studio's live streaming app is that 
It allows YouTube mobile streaming without limiting the number of subscribers you have, which means all of you who have been jumping ships to start streaming on YouTube after the dumpster fire announcement that Twitch released like a couple of days ago, well, you no longer have to worry about how many subscribers you have or the limit for it when you're using the mobile feature. Now, you might be wondering, okay, that's cool and all, but what if I'm just a vanilla Twitch streamer and I only plan on streaming on one platform? Why would I swap to Prism Live Studio when it's basically the same thing? And yeah, well, when you put it that way, sure, it might seem like the same thing, but it's not! You see this little QR code here? Well, if you scan it, you can moderate your chat or use it as a mini stream deck on the Prism Live Studio mobile app. Who needs to spend all that money on an Elgato stream deck when this is free? It's like every feature that any streamer has ever wanted are all integrated into one application for free. Also, remember how I mentioned you can multi-stream? Well, you can integrate all of your chat into one source instead of having to sift through each different chat tab. Also, look at this counter source. You can either turn into a clock, show how long you've been streaming, have a countdown when you start streaming, or a stopwatch to do speed runs. I don't know, maybe I'm dumb or something, but setting something up like this isn't as simple as you think in just OBS Studio. And you know what really frustrates me when using OBS? Having my own music playlist. The way most people do it is through these plugins that you have to install and configure, and it's a real pain in my non-existence plot armor. Like I genuinely could not figure out how to do it properly. But Prism actually has a music playlist source that allows you to add all the soundtracks you want without cluttering up your normal source box. You can also toggle to show the song information or add this cool little sound bar. Like what the heck have I been doing these past few years on OBS Studio? Okay, that sounds great and all, Mari, but how does it function as a live streaming application? Because this sounds way too good to be true. And you know what? I hope my cock looks nice. It's not! Why do I always get the stupid ugly cameo one? Every single time I always get the cameo one! I don't know, I guess for my kick chatters until I can fix it tomorrow, you can just spam emotes if you want it on stream. See, look, you're seen. See, I'm not ignoring you. I'm not ignoring you. You just, you, I don't know. You, you can, you can like, I don't know. You, you can go in the top corner here. How about that? You're watching the Mar Yume channel. <laughs> so I did a couple of streams to test out Prism Live Studio as a one PC setup and the program handled everything really well. Especially when in comparison to Slobs because I noticed that Slobs really did not enjoy me tabbing out of my game. This kind of skipping can be really frustrating especially especially if you use a one PC setup. But I didn't notice that at all when tabbing out of stuff in Prism. Like, I don't know, I'm sorry this video is super overwhelming with all this information. I have just never seen a streaming app that can do literally everything I've ever wanted without it being so difficult to set up. Like I'm baby smooth brain and I really struggle sometimes finding the right tutorial to configure everything. Like sometimes I don't even wanna stream because of how much work it is to set everything up and it just, I don't know, really overwhelms me. So to find a program like Prism that doesn't eat up your CPU, once again has free multi-streaming and all of these other useful resources integrated into it just makes me feel like this huge weight is lifted off my shoulders because now I can spend less time stressing over configuring plugins and more time doing what I really want to do. And that's making more content for all of my sleepyheads here in the dream realm. Also, the fact that Prism actually has a dedicated VTuber tab on its mobile app makes me wonder what other cool VTuber features they might add in the future. You can tell a lot of their developers put so much thought into creating this app. So if you want to give Prism Live Studio a try, then I'll have the website linked down below for you to download because again, it's free. So why not? If you do download it, make sure you leave a comment on this video about your thoughts on the application. And if you have any questions about the software, then you can send the developers an email because they are more than happy to answer any questions you have. Like when I shoot them a couple of emails, they were very fast at responding to them too. They also have a lot of guides on their websites troubleshooting stuff as well. Now, if you're a complete newbie and just starting out as a VTuber, then PM John made a tutorial about using the software where she will hold your hand and walk you through each step on setting everything up for Prism on both PC and mobile. So, uh, I'll leave a link to that video somewhere in the description for you to check out. Anyways, give it a try and let me know what you think about it. That's all I wanted to show you today. So thank you, Prison Live Studio, for sponsoring today's video. And thank you, that's a you, for watching. And last but certainly not least, thank you to all of my amazing Patreons and YouTube members for subscribing and supporting my channel.
We'll talk again soon. And remember, everything reminds you of something. Bye!